everyone! Welcome back to Great Linguistic Expectations. Today I'm going to be talking about my current experience in immigration to Finland. These days I'm getting more and more questions about how my immigration process is going on. Um, most of you know that my goal is to move to Finland. And well, now here is my first video about the progress. I'm sure there are going to be much more videos about it, because unfortunately moving to Europe from Russia is, is not an easy process. So please tune in to my journey and subscribe if you haven't already. So let's start the video. The most common ways of immigration is going for studies or getting a permanent job. Of course there is also an option of political asylum, but what would I say in the application? Some imported food is banned, I can't live like that. <laughs> Probably that's not gonna work. <laughs> and don't even start the marriage talk. If I got 10 euros for every time I got suggested that, I would have, have already saved enough money for the first month of rent in Helsinki. Of course, anything may happen, but I believe that it's always better to rely on yourself. As for the studies, it's my backup plan. Because I've got my master's degree in St. Petersburg and I would really love to get a doctoral degree in Europe one day. And the University of Helsinki is uh, one of the best, isn't it? However, for now my main focus has been getting a job in Helsinki. Some of you may wonder why Helsinki? You know, first of all, because I've been living in a huge city for my whole life and I can't see myself anywhere else at the moment. I know that Helsinki is not even remotely that big as St. Petersburg, but it's just a perfect combination of nature and a bustling city. Secondly, to be fair, capitals provide much more job opportunities than, than other areas. And thirdly, I just love this city. So, what should I tell you for now? The process of getting a job doesn't seem horrendously difficult in theory. I need to find a suitable job, get hired, then apply for a work visa and a residence permit that takes uh, time and a certain amount of money. However, in reality it's not all sunshine and daisies. I've been searching for a job for quite a while now and I have started thinking that I should have become a programmer or anything related to the software development. There is crazy amount of job offers in this area. Well, it's natural, we live in, in the constantly developing world of technologies. But unfortunately, I don't have a proper education for doing that. My professional field is various spheres of linguistics, obviously. <laughs> Research, translation, teaching, specifically English and uh, Russian as a foreign language. And um, advertising, in some way, the linguistic part of it and also localization. And I should tell you, it's a very competitive field. Most of the jobs are already taken and uh, it's also not as popular as programming or engineering. Anyway, I have been sending out some CVs, haven't got any response yet, but I haven't lost hope, because I prefer to stay in positive vibrations and listen to some encouraging advice, for example, You know I had to do that, but it really helps. Another thing that I would really love to do, more than anything else to be honest, because it's where my passion lies, is to get in the entertainment industry, specifically music industry, event management and so on. I know that I'm already kinda in the entertainment because I'm on YouTube, but I really need to have people around me. For now I don't know how to accomplish this dream successfully, but I just hope that the answer will show itself one day. By the way, if you have any ideas, suggestions or advice, I will be very happy to read it in the comments or email. So yeah, for now the situation is like this. I'm still trying to navigate through this whole job search process and hope for the best. If you have similar experience, please share it in the comments below or just any thoughts, because you know I love reading your comments. Thank you very much for listening to my immigration update. I'll see you in the next video. Thank you, goodbye.